Hey people! Okay, I wanted to give you guys an update on the Casa Sitch. Okay, so I sold some things and um, I got the $201. And so I put that on that credit card. Now, I do have a secured credit card that, you know, where you put your own money and then yeah okay look it up if you don't know what what is anyway um so he was like i need that balance i only have a 300 dollar card because that's just what i did and it's been over a year since i've had it so anywho so like a captain dumbass that i am i thought hey the first time he ran the credit before he told me I needed the 201 to go on to that other card. I thought he'd run the credit once and then I could use my cards. No big deal. So I put all of the rest of the money that I had for the month onto the card to get it down to $170. Okay, so then this whole shenanigan happened, and then so I got the 201. Well, we're sitting here, no money access whatsoever. So I finally had to call him because I was just like, look. My son's car has literally no gas in it, and he has to go to school. So, now I feel like a total jackass, because, you know, they work, like, the month-to-month -month basis on sales, which he said don't worry about it, but I do worry about it, because, number one, he's a friend of a friend, and he's been nothing but nice to me and he's put up with all my millions of questions and everything but number two he's worked really really hard and then can't close it this month which would have counted for his sales but whatever he said that's fine i feel like an ass um but i can go ahead and put that um money back on when I get paid so then once I get paid then they will go ahead and have me pre-approved and I found out that um, I'm actually pre-approved for a hundred and ten thousand I could obviously do more random fat dog uh, doing a video bomb okay I decided to throw that in okay so but the thing is, is that um, I told him I only want my payments to be a certain amount and do not let me go over. You know what I mean? So he was like 110000 and that's pushing it. That's like at the top of your limit, just a few dollars over, blah, blah, blah. And I, so it's really hard to find a house that is actually gonna be standing in the next few years that's not you know at least a hundred thousand if not more and actually I should go for like 125,000 but the thing is for the area that I'm going to be moving but the thing is is I'm not willing to make those kind of payments I want to be able to live comfortably and the, you know, I don't want to be house broke because right now I am apartment broke. For real, for real. So, on the first, when I get paid, I'm going to go ahead and do that. They're going to run it. I won't touch the cards. And then, bam, I will be approved. And then we can put the, um, the bid on houses if they're still available i do have one house that i really like it is the top 
of the limit. I really want to spend like 90000 at the most, but this one is listed at 125 and they're willing to take like 110 which would be is the most I'll be approved for because I told him do not approve me for any more than that. And um, so 110 which is really stretching but it does need some because it they said it sold as is and it's right near the lake which those are already like that house is already they're selling it under market like it's worth right now a hundred and fifty thousand just as it sits and it needs brand new carpet and or flooring like all the carpet needs to be ripped out and it needs paint it's pretty much it and then you know it needs you know flowers and shrubbery and things like that that I would love to do um but you know for curb appeal but the thing is is because it's like right on the lake pretty dang close to the lake in this neighborhood it's like $150,000, but they're selling it for one twenty five, dollars and they're actually willing to take one ten just because they are older people, they've retired, and they've already moved to Phoenix. And they said, you know, they're only selling it as is because they don't want to paint or replace carpet or anything like that, but, you know, everything structural is superb and all that stuff and and um of course I'm gonna have you know an inspection done that will prove all that and everything but it is ginormous it's almost 2,000 square feet three bedrooms three bathrooms I don't even know what to, but it's all one floor so it's perfect but all I'm saying is it's probably too big for me so if it's there then it's meant to be if it's not I'm not gonna cry about it there'll be something for me and um, I am NOT gonna fret so you don't fret oh and I know some people commented, oh, I wish, you know, I could give you the money and blah, blah, blah. I'm not asking you guys for money. I'm not. Um, I'm not asking you to help me with this house. Hey, we might have a, you know, a, um, what's it called? A housewarming party. Oh my God, I'll get to have a, my very own first housewarming party. So maybe we'll have a housewarming party and then people can send me cheap stuff like candles or something like that if they want to. I don't know. But all I know is I don't need your help. I mean, unless you want to totally buy the house. Then I'll accept that. If you want to pay for the flooring, if I do get that house, hey. But if not, I'm not worried about it because I'm going to do it, people. I'm so excited. I've worked so hard to get my credit to where it needs to be. So, I'm just very proud of myself. I will talk to you later. I love your guts. Toodles, poodles. Kisses on your face.